Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be the second update for my beauty replacements only no buy that I started in the beginning of July and I will continue this no buy at least until the end of the year but maybe I will continue even after that. Today I thought that first we could just be talking about the month overall, my feelings, how the no buy is going and then I will share with you the replacement products I purchased in August and then in the really really end of the video I will be sharing with you the things that I'm planning on purchasing in September. August was quite a different month for me than July. In July I was still working and my contract ended in the end of July. So in July I, for example, didn't wear any makeup to work. I was working during summertime in that kind of job that it just didn't make any sense. And I was really busy and tired because of my job. So I didn't really have that much time to think about makeup or to do YouTube videos or watch videos or anything like that. In August I have had more time, I have been doing my makeup every day, I have been watching more videos and I have had time to think about makeup more. I think in general the month was okay. I have not broken my no buy, I have only bought replacement things that are fine for me. But I will say I have had more temptations. And when I say temptation, for me it is really never an urge to buy something right now. For example, if I want an eyeshadow palette, it's not so strong of a need of the product that I would want to break my no buy and get the product right away. So instead of wanting to buy the eyeshadow palette right now, I will usually start to plan a little bit for the next year and think about buying it then. Or think about buying it when I get one palette out of my collection. But if I'm being completely honest with myself, I think that kind of defeats the purpose of the no buy because I don't need to be buying anything right now and I don't need to be looking for things to buy right now unless there is actually something new that I need. For example, I will need a new pore filling primer and I noticed that my favorite one is discontinued so yes I have been looking for a new pore filling primer option but that I feel is an actual need. Eyeshadow palettes I absolutely do not need at this point and wanting palettes, lasting over them mainly on other people's videos, it just it doesn't benefit me at all. And I do notice that I have been going kind of back and forth with my makeup collection goals, but I know for sure is that I don't want to have any larger collection than it is right now. In the beginning of the year my collection was a little bit larger and I just felt so overwhelmed. I had things in my collection that I didn't enjoy. At the moment that is not the case. I really do enjoy everything I have. But you know, the fact is that I still do not have time to use everything. A big reason to that is that I am so focused on project panning. At the moment I'm really motivated with panning, but also there has been times when I have just been so over it. In fact, in spring and early summer I took a little break of panning and it was good for me. Now I'm really motivated with panning again, but because I am so focused on panning, I don't have time to use all of my makeup even though I think my collection, it is pretty curated. Yeah, I'm I'm having kind of like conflicted thoughts. On the other hand, there are days when I feel this size of a collection is good and I'm happy with it. But then there are days when I would really want to downsize my collection. And I think if I was to maintain a makeup collection of this size, it probably would be the best idea to not be so focused on project panning or maybe I should do more like a rotation type of projects so project 10 uses, project 100 uses, that kind of thing. But I feel if I'm so focused on hitting pan or finishing something it's always time away from other makeup that is just sitting in my collection expiring. However, I feel that most days I would want to kind of like keep going with 
downsizing my collection and I think that deep down inside of me I know that is the right thing for me to do. And a big reason is what I just said, a lot of my collection is neglected, even still, even though my collection is so curated. But also, I just feel my makeup preferences, they have changed quite a bit recently and I'm sure they will be changing a lot in future too. During the time that I have been having this makeup hobby, I like to call it that, I have been more into bold makeup. And I noticed that that is changing. Now, I don't by any means say that I will be someone who wears super natural, no makeup makeup look every day. I actually don't think I look my best in that kind of looks. Someone else might disagree and say that everybody looks their best without makeup or with really natural face. I just think with my face structure, with my complexion and with everything, I feel I look a little bit better when I do have a little bit more of makeup on. Maybe that's just me, I don't care, but it makes me happy to do my makeup and I don't mind if the makeup shows. But what I mean is that I'm not into like super dramatic and bold looks anymore. Well, if you have been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of colorful eyeshadow on myself. Sure, it looks good on so many other people and even I like doing pop of color once in a while. But for me, I don't think it's realistic to be wearing like a turquoise eyeshadow look like on my everyday basis. But also I have noticed that I'm not that much into really bold lipstick for example anymore. A lot of my bolder lip colors, they are just sitting in my collection collecting dust, I don't really wear them. Some of it may be related to the fact that I am doing so much project padding and I am padding a lot of eyeshadow at the moment that is a little bit more on the bold side and not necessarily all of my lip products go with those eyeshadows that I'm focusing on, but still, I just, most days I would want to wear just kind of like a makeup look that shows, but is kind of neutral. So neutral eyeshadow look, neutral lipstick, and when I want to make a statement, even then I do have those specific colors that I love over anything else. For example, red lipstick is something like that for me. I can never see myself living without red lipstick. But then, for example, I do have quite many brown lipsticks, like how many of those do I need? I do have a bright pink lipstick that I bought the past summer and now that I think about it, I don't know if it was the wisest choice. I have so many bold lip product options, there is no way that I'm going to be able to wear all of those. And I think a factor that I cannot just like bypass when talking about my changing preferences is the fact that I am pregnant with my first child. So there is going to be a huge change in my life in the end of the year. And for sure makeup is not going to be something that important to me anymore then. I don't say that I don't want to do makeup, but I think I will have even less time for makeup and I don't necessarily know if I want to be wearing super bold makeup every day. I don't say there is anything wrong with wearing bold makeup on an everyday basis, don't get me wrong. What I hate the most is like makeup shaming and saying that it's it's somehow like a wrong thing to be walking in a vampy lipstick or in a smoky eye or in a rainbow eyeshadow look on everyday basis. You do you. If that is what makes you happy, do it. But I feel for me the days that I really want to play with makeup and be creative, I feel those days are kind of like over. And that does not by any means mean that I want to wear the same <laughs> neutral makeup look every day. No, for sure I change the way I do my makeup depending on my mood, on my outfit, on the season, somewhat. And I don't think that is going to change, but what I mean is that I'm just not necessarily someone who really wants to sit down and spend so much time with their makeup and play with it. <laughs> And that was me in the past. So yeah, anyways, I think since my makeup preferences are changing a little bit right now, since my life is going to change a lot in the end of the year, I think it makes more sense for me to keep going with the sort of minimalist journey I am on than 
maintain my collection where it is right now, although I don't think that would be a bad option either. And one thing I'm glad about is that I don't need to make any decisions right now. There is at least four months left of this no buy. So I won't be buying anything else except replacement things this year. And I think it would probably be the best idea to continue this no buy until the midway through next year. So that I would be on a no buy for a full year. I think that would be probably the best option because I will have a newborn baby in the beginning of the next year. But for right now I'm just happy I am on this no buy and I have a kind of like a time off from buying new makeup. So I have time to think where I want to be and I have time to think what to do after my no buy. No matter if I continue it for the end of year or the midway through next year. but. What I don't want to happen is to let my makeup shopping get out of control anymore because that is what happened for me after my first no buy year, so yeah. But anyways, I think this video has been so rambly already, so I think we should get to my replacement purchases. I made some in August, so let's go through those next. Okay, so I do have all of the replacement products I purchased here. It's actually just one order that I placed in August and these products are in two categories, so hair care and makeup. All of these products I ordered from Lux Plus. It is a website with this membership thing. The membership costs 9 euros 95 cents a month and then you get products with huge discounts. So for example, some of this hair care is half off from what I would need to pay for it from stores. So for me, the membership is worth it. I do usually cancel it after one month. I was actually supposed to cancel my membership a couple of days ago, but they offered me free 60 days of the membership. So of course I decided to continue the membership if I need something else from Lux Plus because it is an online store where I do shop for regularly. I did order some Paul Mitchell hair care. So I did buy their Avapoi shampoo. Now I'm not out of my shampoo yet. However, this is a product that I use multiple times a week. I do also silver shampoo, but I use this one a little bit more often. So it is something that I will go through and I will get to this eventually. Same goes to the the Tangler conditioner. I'm not out of mine yet, but I will be soon enough. Then I am almost out of my hair mask, so I did purchase a new one. I bought one from Garnier. This one I have not tried. This is in Polish, so I don't right now know what the name of this product actually is, but I will write it down to the description box. Anyways, this one is infused with olive oil. Now, what comes to shampoo and conditioner, I actually do like to buy something a little bit more expensive. I do like Paul Mitchell a lot, but I feel oftentimes with affordable shampoos and conditioners, I feel I need to use a ton more what I would need to use with something that is kind of like saloon quality. However, with hair masks, I have not tried a hair mask that is expensive and does better job than a cheap one. So that's why hair mask is something that I usually like to buy something really, really cheap. So now I decided to try this Garnier one. Then I purchased this Paul Mitchell Super Strong Liquid Treatment. So this one I use every time after showering before my Super Skinny Serum. Okay, then the rest of the products are makeup. So I do have here a four pack of these Real Techniques Miracle Sponges. So yeah, I was in a need of a sponge and this four pack was such a good deal that I just decided to go with this one. So this one was 16 euros and 95 cents when an individual would have been, I think, 7 euros and 45 cents and a two pack would have been 11 euros and 45 cents, if I remember correctly. So this was the best value and I do really enjoy these sponges. Right now I have been using Eco Tools sponges, but what I do enjoy in this one specifically is the shape. So that's why I decided to go with these and usually I can use one for three to four months. I will try to stretch 
to use for four months so that would mean that I could go with this pack until the end of next year I will actually tomorrow start using one of these because my eco tools sponge is quite in a quite rough condition then I purchased Tinix Micro Pro Pencil. I recently opened my backup and this product is something that I can go through quite quickly. So when I open my backup, I like to buy a new backup so that I don't run out and I have no interest of trying a new Pro Pencil. So this is a product where I'm totally fine with having a backup. Then I bought some false lashes. So these are the last thing that I have here. So Ardell Demi Wispies actually this one pack is just wispies and these are demi wispies, this multi pack. The reason I wanted to buy this one pack is that I wanted the plastic glass case from this one pack because it's easier to store in my vanity drawer so that I don't need to have the multi pack there. I used to have a lash case from House of Lashes, however, since I only do use one pair of false lashes and it is the Ardell Demi Wispies. It doesn't make any sense for me to own a lash case where I can store three different pair of lashes. So because of that I wanted to have like a small and compact packaging for the lashes and that's why I bought a one pack and also a multi pack because I'm almost out of my false lashes. With these I probably can get through the fall and maybe even the winter, we'll see. Nowadays I don't really wear false lashes on my everyday basis anymore. I mainly do wear them if I'm going somewhere that is a little bit more special or then on days that I'm filming I do still like to wear them. But if I'm just hanging at home I don't bother wearing them anymore. So yeah, those are the things that I purchased in August. So let's still talk about how much I spent so the makeup products were 38 euros and 30 cents. That includes the sponges, the false lashes and the pro pencil. The hair care was 43 euros and 30 cents. And then the membership was 9 euros and 95 cents. So that I put under category called other. So that would include something like shipping, taxes, this membership, stuff like that. So in total I spent 91 euros and 55 cents. You know, sure that was almost 100 euros. However, all of these were replacement things that I do actually use and need. And I don't feel too bad about this number or this amount of money spent. It would be nice to be able to get my spending to about 50 euros for example. But I do still have a beauty routine that has multiple steps in all categories, like my hair care, I do have multiple steps in it. In my skincare, I do have multiple steps. Even though those things are something that I have simplified my routines, there are still multiple steps. Same goes to my makeup routine. So I feel for right now, if I'm able to keep my replacement purchase under 100 euros, I don't see a reason to complain about that. Of course, now that I'm not working anymore, my financial situation is somewhat different. I'm more depending on my husband's income. So of course I don't want to be like overspending the money that he earns for us to stuff that I don't actually need. So new lipsticks, new eyeshadow palettes, you name it. However, when it comes to products that I actually use and need in my beauty routine, you know, I'm fine buying those but I do want to kind of like control the spending. I do want to take advantage of sales if I can. And if it feels like my routine is costing us too much, in that case, perhaps I will need to start looking for more affordable options. The last thing on this video is to talk about September a little bit. So in the very end of these update videos, I do like to talk about the next month a little bit so that I'm more accountable for my next month's spending. Okay, so I mentioned already in the beginning of the video that I'm almost out of my pore filling primer and my favorite one has been discontinued, which I am so mad about. So my favorite one was the Urban Decay Optical Illusion one. I don't have that right now, but I have been using multiple tubes of that. I really do love that primer. 
I'm really picky about pore filling primers. Like I do always want to have one in my collection, but I don't want anything that is too slippery. But then on the other hand, I don't want anything that is too kind of like mousy and dry. So the Urban DK one, it was amazing. Same goes to the original Too Faced Primed and Poreless, but that one has been reformulated and what I have read from the reviews is that it's not the same thing anymore. So I don't even want to try the new one. Anyways, I have been looking for a new primer to try and I went to see the Luxe Plus selection now that I do still have the membership going for free. So I thought that I would try the Balm Time Balm primer. So I'm going to purchase that. Then I noticed that my favorite glowy powder, the Milani Prepset Glow Powder, is in stock at Lux Plus. So I'm going to buy that. Do I need it right away? No. I do still have product left in my Bare Minerals Illuminating Mineral Well. I will probably finish that product in October. But the Milani powder, I talked about this in... don't know if it was my empties video. Probably, yeah, in my empties video, I talked about the fact that the Milani powder is always sold out and now it's in stock, so I'm going to buy that because I will need that soon enough. And then something that I need pretty quickly is cleanser. So I do use a different cleanser on my morning routine. In my morning routine, I like to use one of those like clay cleansers, I feel it purifies my skin so well when I don't have any makeup to remove or anything. However, I don't like to use that type of cleanser in the evening when I'm removing makeup or like cleansing balm or whatever is left of that after taking it off with reusable cotton wipe. Anyways, I like then using just kind of like a normal cleanser, so I'm thinking of buying a cleanser from Lux Plus. So those are all of the things I will need from Lux Plus right now. And then there are a couple of things that I possibly will need to buy from store. I'm not sure yet, but I might need to buy these. So I make a remover. I do still have some left in mine, but if I run out of it, it's probably going to happen in the end of September. Then I'm just going to buy a new one. And then another thing that I possibly will need to buy from store is mascara. I do notice now, since I don't wear false lashes that much and I wear more mascara, that I also run through mascara a little bit quicker. I have had my mascara open for about three months. I'm not someone who feels a need to change their mascara after three months, but if mine starts to try, then I will of course purchase a new one. So yeah, those are the things that I will purchase or probably will purchase in September. And then I do have a hairdresser appointment coming in the end of the month. My hairdresser is so <laughs> overbooked. I wasn't able to get an appointment before that and my roots are starting to be quite bad. Anyways, that one I have coming so that's another reason why I absolutely do not want to be buying any other replacement products than those in September. But yeah, that was really everything for today. I know it was a long and rambly video, but thank you if you watched this video. If you were on a no-buy or on a low-buy, let me know how is it going. Have you had any similar thoughts to me? I would be interested in knowing if you have been going kind of like back and forth between your collection goals and what you want because I feel that is the way I have been myself for the past month. But that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next one. Bye bye.